Let's see how this goes. We are going back to Michigan. Gave up on Alaska, so I need to retain the truck and then go to the global map. I could go to Russia. Let's just go back to Michigan. Let's do something. All right, we are back in Michigan. There's a truck there. Motel Lowe's. Fuel station. Where am I at? I'm over here. Let's go to the entrance of the garage. Uh, truck store. Wait, this is your truck store. You can buy new vehicles here. What? That Ford looks awesome. I love it. I want it. Gotta make some more money. Oh, and of course I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, it says Scout. Hmm. All right, how do I truck storage? Uh, this is your truck storage. Okay, put it in. Uh, let's see if I can download this. This is your truck storage. Put anything from the garage into storage. I didn't get it. Sell, deploy. Let's try this truck out. Yeah. Leave garage. All right, guys. Old guy gamer here. We're playing. We're playing Snow Runner. Let's go figure out some stuff to do in Michigan. I think I'm gonna go uh, look for some parts just for something to do. And we'll try out this new Jeep. It's part of the DLC. I haven't bought anything, so I'm assuming this comes with the uh, the season pass. Ah, I forget about the stupid brakes. I've been editing and posting for a day and a half or so. I haven't played it in 30 hours. Uh, let's look at the map. That is not the map. That's the map. Okay, so I gotta go left. I wanna go to the power line. That's where I said I was gonna go, it's the power line. And plus, I might be able to make it to this watchtower. So let's turn left. Let's set a waypoint right here. We will go check out the watchtower. With tires this big, I bet this thing is gonna wallow all over the road like drunk sailor. Oh my goodness. Does not want to turn either. He does not have much torque. It does not have much power. But it looks like a beauty queen. Oh, I forgot that there was water on the road here. No high water warning there. Oh my goodness. That's some very little bumps to be slowing down a Jeep this big. Alright, let's go. I remember going down this path. What was down there? Um, I got to right here and had to turn around, so there was no... There was no watchtowers down that path. Let's go hit this one watchtower. The watchtower we're headed for, we tried to get to a couple of videos ago in our Chevy pickup truck. But we just had the regular street tires on it, so we did. We made it to the swamp. I mean, we made it pretty far, but not as far as we needed to, because the swamp stopped us from getting pretty far at all. Man, these tires on the street, man, they really wallow all over the place. A little steering input, and it is all over. So when I get to the waypoint, that means I turn left. Whoa! What the? I don't even know what happened there. I was just going straight and just decided to peel to the right for some reason. Maybe I hit a twig in the road. Okay, here's the turnoff. Let's see how it does. I bet it does awesome. I'm at full power. It's still moving. Let's see if it works. This is not the path I took in the truck. I went around the long route on the truck. But this looks like it's working. We just gotta get to the watchtower. Hit the C button. 
and we can open up a new section of the map. See what it looks like. Hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I'm liking playing it. Let me know if you're playing it or not, or if you're just watching it because you're thinking about playing it. I'd like to know who's watching the videos. Just leave a comment. Ouch. That is awesome. It's climbing through the mud and it's climbing trees that are in the mud. Okay, so this thing wallows like a pig on the road, but it is amazing in the mud. Sweet. See, this path on the left is where I came in the truck. So now let's look at the map and see if we can make it to the other side of this thing. Yeah, the drowned highway truck. Let's head over there and see what the deal is with that thing. And then there's... I didn't even see this place. I didn't notice it. The place beyond the spruces. Drowned scout truck. I've seen this truck before. I drove right by all this stuff. So let's head straight through here. Let's continue on this path and we'll try and find that drowned highway truck. I haven't had a chance to rescue a downed truck yet. Out in the middle of nowhere. So let's go see what that involves. River crossing in the mud. Unstoppable. This thing's a beast. It's cool looking. Let's hope I don't have to change a tire out here. Ah, oh, let's not even bother going over that thing. There we go. I see that truck over there. How are we going to get to it? Is the question. Let's scout this way a little bit. I wonder if I have to winch that thing out or if I just got to reach it and it'll give it to me in my garage. How difficult is this going to be? Oops. Sorry, tree. They're dead anyway. Now, if this were real life, I'd pull my driver's door right up to that driver's door. You are able to repair any damaged vehicle, be it your own or someone else's. First, press up on the D-pad, which I'm using a mouse and keyboard. You know what? Let's just get rid of that. I said in one of my earlier videos, I have an Xbox controller just always plugged into my computer. Just so it's fully charged when I want to use it. So now let's see what happens. Okay, press V to open your functions menu. Let's see what that does. Nothing. Okay. Show task. That's what we want. Oh, escape. Hey, trouble with the farm. We've got trucks wedged deep in sludge and could use a strong arm to haul them out. We need a serious engine for this one. I don't know what that means, but okay. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Let's release that winch. We don't need to be... How am I going to get it out of here? Let's... Let's back it up. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to get going forward. Now let's, uh, winch. Got to press and hold it, Tom. Let's go. Here we go. We'll just back this sucker out. I'm trying to back, not back over this tree, but... Whatever. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can back this thing out. Man, that is not wanting to go straight at all. Alright, let's straighten back up. Let's go. 
I should have probably straightened up a little bit more than that. I guess I could turn the Jeep around. It's, it's internet. It is, I don't even know what this truck is. Alright, let's, 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 let's not fight doing this thing backwards. Let's just turn around and do it the right way. Your vehicle is diff lock cable. Okay. Locks your wheels together, blah blah blah. I know how diff works. Oops. Wrong button. Let's uh Alright, let's try this the better way. We're facing forward. And diff lock. Let me just check that real quick. Release wrench. So the diff lock is not through the functions that I need. Diff lock is going to go only on low gear. Okay. So shift, low gear, and then diff lock. All right, let's lock that center diff. Let's get out of here. Let's see if this helps us a little bit. We're still making our way. If you look backwards, that truck is turning its wheels too. Not just, I think that it doesn't just roll along. I think it's actually when you control the Jeep you're driving, it also, like if I hit the accelerator on the Jeep, it hits the accelerator on the truck I'm pulling. So those power wheels are actually powering as they're turning, they're not just rolling free. How much do I have to drag this thing before it says I've accomplished the mission is the other question. And look at the sidewalls give on these tires. <laughs> That is cool. All right. How far do I got to pull this thing? Let's go a little bit up on the dry. Dry being a relative term. term. All right, there's the watchtower. Do I have to drag this thing all the way back to the road? You know what? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to drive it. I'm going to drag it back to the road. What the heck? If I can do it, I will. I might stop right up here just to see if this is far enough. Yeah, you know what? I decided not to stop. So never mind. I'm just gonna keep pulling it. I got a good momentum going. I'm just gonna keep pulling it. I'll pull it out to the street. It said you needed a huge engine to do this, but I wouldn't really consider this Jeep having a huge engine. But it's doing it. Actually, I'll give props to the truck for making it this far out here before it got stuck. It should have gotten stuck in this. Come on, truck. We're going to make it eventually. We're not that far from the road now. I can see it. Gonna go to another vehicle I own. I'm just gonna Is that truck stuck on anything? Alright, I'm gonna release the winch, pull forward a little bit, and then reattach. You know what's funny is I've never, I, I haven't even been pulling the winch in when I've been driving. I've just been driving. That's just going to pull me backwards, right? Oh no, it's pulling the truck. It's actually pulling the truck. I actually haven't been winching in at all while I've been driving. I've just been pulling it. I actually pulled the winch in a little bit there and it, it worked. 
start pulling it. Come on. I keep calling this a Jeep. It's not a Jeep. It's probably... I should have looked at what it was so I could call it the right thing. It looks like an international. I can't tell what that little logo is on the front of it. I'll have to go back to the garage and see what it is so I can give it proper credit. But hey, this is a mission. We'll call this something. They're going to have to pay us something for getting their truck out of the mud, right? This is pretty cool. Nice and slow going. It's not action-packed, but we're getting some work done. I wonder if this is how you're supposed to do a mission. Or are you supposed to, like, start the truck up and drive it out or something? get up on this side or it's a little more solid maybe we can get a little bit more traction come on it's still pulling like a champ we are at the road come on buddy This thing does not have a very big turning radius. I mean, a very short, it doesn't have a very tight turning radius. It's uh, press triangle to pull your wings. Try using your own engine now. What? Oh, it's because I'm in low gear, maybe. Oh, and I've got that diff lock. That's why. It wouldn't go in reverse for some strange reason. Might have had something to do with being in low gear and the diff lock on. Does it not go in reverse? Okay, now what? What do I got to do here? Release the winch. Is it, when did it put that winch on? I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm talking about with this mouse control. This is a little weird. take it to. Drowned highway truck. Okay. Oh, I gotta take it back to the farm? Alright, let's do that. Let's take it back to the farm. We'll see if that's what they want us to do. Alright, buddy. Hang with me here. I shouldn't have to winch it when it's on the road. I guess I do. Alright, here I was all confused trying to figure out what to do. You don't just have to get it out of the mud, you don't just have to get it to the road, you actually gotta get it back to the farm. Now I'm caught up. I thought maybe this would be my truck when I pull it out. Maybe they're just gonna give me a pocket full of cash to carry home with me for doing them a favor. It is deep fall in Michigan. Look at the orange leaves on those trees. I didn't even notice that in the other times I played this game. We're going to call this a mission. We're going to call this a video completed. 
Once we get this back and see what our reward is, then we'll go do something else. This was kind of fun. Actually, there's a downed truck right over there in their pond, right on the other side of that wooden house to the left there. Drowned Iowa truck. That's the kind of muscle we need around here. Uh, is that it? Did I get anything for that? See if we can go over and get that truck. Well, uh, you know what? Let's just end the video here. We'll get that truck in the next video. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the game. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see me do that I'm not already doing. And we'll meet you back here next time. Bye.